I wish I would trip on what you niggas is doing on your side. Keep doing you. I'm unbothered because I know what I'm doing. Fuck out of here. I don't need to sit at your table. We building one. We in the process of building a table. We building a table. I don't got to sit at your table. I'm building my own table, and I will build you a table in the presence of your enemies. Fire in the hole! And I'm hungry! I'm not eating at the couch. I'm not eating on the bed. Nah, niggas. I'm eating at the table. You motherfuckers think I'm waiting on you? Get the fuck out of here, man. You niggas is bugging, bro. You niggas is eating sardines and Captain Crunch cereal. <laughs> I wish I would be waiting on you stupid motherfuckers. We're not firing squad. It's a motherfucking Captain Jimmy Maw. Yeah. Here with the only motherfucking admiral in the game, G Money. Yeah. And we got eyes low. Sometimes you got to talk to the creator. You know. Just a couple questions. Let's go. Eyes. Yo, I want to know where crisis when I'm in the crisis and why I lean on other devices. I'm sick of living wicked one day, next minute I'm righteous. Just tell me what the meaning of life is. You made me with a purpose. Why work? Can I just do that? Huh? How I take a step forward just to take two back? Right. What's the lesson? I'm trying to learn, but I'm sick of guessing. If I'm human, why you asking for perfection? You said before the world you chose me. I don't feel so lucky. If I'm so wonderfully made, why I feel so ugly? How it sense so wicked when it feels so lovely? Guess my question is, do you still love me? How you see us in this chaos and got the power to change it and won't? I would do it if I could, but I can't because I don't. Then he told me, keep faith. The answer is hope. Keep walking. I'm enhancing your growth. You come so on, close G-Money. to the beginning. You know. Hey, come on, baby. I want to know. Oh. <laughs> Ah, I was we was Oh Chad Oh Chad Zumak You running a muck on me man Listen yo Chad bruh I'm not going to even waste nobody time. We're going to get right into the show, man. Niggas know what it is. I'm glad you niggas is back. Another motherfucking week. We're trying to keep that consistency. You know, we got the motherfucking admiral here. Yo, G-Money, you good before we go? I'm good. All right, man. Lock and load. We going, man. Chad fucking Zumik. Zumak. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something, bro. You the homie. I fuck with you. You know, I try to be an example for you, Chad. To entrust other black Dominican people. Okay? I'm kind to you, Chad. So you can believe in the and the culture of of, of 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 the us. Okay? I'm kind, Chad. You my guy. You think I blew you off on purpose tonight, nigga? You don't think I wanted to do your fucking podcast, bro? Come on, man. I heard you fell out with one of my nemesis. <laughs> A nemesis that I am, I love. I'm in love with this nigga. Kevin fucking Brennan. Yes, this is my fucking nemesis, <laughs> but I don't know. It's like, I've been really wanting to fuck Kevin up, but then when I see him, I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. I'm a, I don't want to hurt him no more. But, Chad, I wanted to do your show. The fuck, man? You think I didn't want... And, and then you're going to send my executive producer that, that, that weird-ass fucking... I said, no, he did not. I thought, And then I called him twice on video chat. He don't want... Chad Zumak. <laughs> trying to run a muck right now, nigga? Nah, Chad. Nah, Chad. Yo, G-Money, read with Chad. 
Can you please read what Chad Zumuck wrote us? This is yes, this I was my much. guy. Every time I seen the nigga at Skank Fest or around its cellar or web, I, I I show Chad love. I do. We have a picture of you, him, and Jim Florentine from Skank Fest. Oh my god! I, I never thought that this. Come on, Chad. He sent me um, after uh, Jimmy was supposed to do his podcast today. Uh, we we're supposed to do this before we uh, recorded uh, this show, and he had some conference calls that ran late. So we were pushing it back and letting him know, you know, that w- what was going on. But um, he had people that he needed to get out of there, for, like his producer and stuff. So and I and but you guys, you guys gotta also remember, I'm I'm in the in the midst of conference call, and G Money, he, he you know, he's the go to person. I'm not being privy to this information about you know the the I, I my phone isn't I. I'm not available. I'm I'm focusing in on these motherfucking millies, bro. I think these niggas still think that this is Jimmy Marr from uh a couple of years ago yeah, or some just, sh- yeah. I you know, I these niggas don't Man, listen, bro. Go ahead, read what my buddy Chad Zumak fucking Dude, read this shit. He said uh completely unprofessional after a week's notice and confirmation. I'll never have him on and let him know that. He wasted my time and my team's time. And then he came back with another message. That, that, hey, that, yo, that, but I wasted his time and his team time. But the, 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 the funny thing is he'll never what? I'll, he'll, they'll, they'll, never, never have him on. Never have him on. Oh. <laughs> and let him know that. I did. I'll let you know. JB, look what he said. <laughs> oh, my God. He's... <laughs> Hey, yo, yo, chat. So you think me not coming on your podcast? You think me coming on? Hold on, let me get this right. Let me. (laughs) (laughs) He'll never work in this town again. (laughs) That's all I'm envisioning. (laughs) Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Chad, you think me not being able to come do your show is going to get me less dick sucks? Less balloon not love? Chad, do you think me not coming on your show is going to stop these eight Nine figure shit that's going on in my life right now, bro. Yo, Chad, real nigga shit. Yo, homie, I be kind with you. I be really kind with you. You're not done. You're going to read the. He oh, said yeah, he yeah. sent another yeah, yeah. part. And I want to hear what that other part was. But, yo, yo, beloved. Nah, Chad. I didn't do that shit on purpose. This is this is my livelihood. This is my son's livelihood, bro. Like, I was on some real shit. I was on some real, some real shit, bro. The fucking Silicon Valley and fucking State Farm, and you got me talking shit that <clears throat> I shouldn't be talking about right now because this is NDA shit. But because I care about you, bro, and I really, f- but nigga, read what the second part was. He said, uh, there's absolutely no one trying to talk to Jimmy right now, and my podcast would have helped him. He fucked up. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Now read what I read what I wrote, Chad, to the to the to to these (laughs) Jimmy's uh Jimmy's message after calling him a couple times and not getting a response. Right after my my conference. As soon as I'm off the conference call. Uh, Hey, Chad, I'm so sorry these conference calls ran over the way they did. I am truly apologetic for your team's time. And please just let me know what the cost was for the night and I will take care of it. I am truly apologetic that we got our signals crossed from my negligence of conference calls this evening. You know you're the homie and I got nothing love for you. Nothing but love for you. Don't be... A weirdo 
and send those kinds of messages to me, though, through my producer when you know better. We're good, homie. I didn't blow you off. You know if I didn't make it on time, I was caught up. But when you say things like this, you're kind of forcing my hand. Let's not be those guys. You're my homie, bro. And if you don't want me on your show no more, how about this? How about we have you on mine? Nothing but love, and let me know if we can make that happen. All right. Now, this is, of course, all of this is before I heard that That last (laughs) whole part, you know. Hey, yo, Chad, you bitch-ass nigga. Let me tell you something, bro. I don't give a fuck who the... I I got my core listeners. I don't give a fuck if it's seven of us, nigga. Or if it's five. If it's five of us, nigga, we can form Voltron. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you and your fucking... Your team. Bitch-ass nigga, what the fuck are you going to do to me? Nigga, I'm nice to y'all niggas. Understand that, Chad. Nigga, I'm nice to y'all niggas. Understand that, bro. You niggas is prey to me. You ain't a fucking threat. You ain't you ain't nothing but prey, nigga. Don't don't fuck with me. You was reaching out for me to come on your show, ho nigga. I don't give a fuck if niggas trying to listen or not. This is the real over here, nigga. So a lot of niggas don't want to fuck with the real. I don't got no gimmicks and all that whole shit, nigga. My rate, me being on your show would have helped your ratings. The fuck are you talking about? There ain't nothing like me out here, nigga. You and your bitch ass team, nigga. I offered to pay. What, 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 what was the cost, nigga? Uh, for a night of your production, what two, three, three k? What the fuck was it? Don't play with me, bro. Don't get beside yourself because you know, nigga, I will turn the street volume up to 10. And I don't have to do shit no more, nigga. I got that real money. Have somebody do something to you for $5, nigga. Don't play with me, bro. I don't know who y'all niggas stop playing. Let, let the dragon sleep. You're a fucking weirdo, Chad, for responding like that, nigga. I don't know what happened with you and Kevin Brennan, but nigga, I'm not Kevin Brennan. And dog, if you really, this episode drops tonight, niggas, tell Chad Zumach I'm talking to him. You got my number, nigga. You got my everything. Whatever you need to get in touch with me, let me know where you at. I'll come and see you. You want to have a conversation? I, I'm up for the conversation, nigga. Don't play with me, bro. Matter of fact, nigga, next time I see you, we're going to have this conversation. On God, nigga. We're going to have this conversation. Because you niggas on the internet be playing, playing. You know you not built like that to be talking to me like that, nigga. Who the fuck do you think you are, Chad? What are you, a part of the LGBT community? You think you you safe? Nigga, I'm a monster, dog. I'm a fucking monster. You think you safe, nigga? You playing around with a nigga that will throw it all to the motherfucking winds, bro. Yo, Chad, next time I see you, I'm pulling up on you, and we're going to have, I dare you to get crazy or get stupid. I promise you, nigga. I dare you to do any of that whole shit. You did this, nigga. You did this. So now you have my undivided attention, Chad. You wanted to be on the other side of the motherfucking fence with Jimmy? Niggas always saying Jim did this and Jim did that. You see how the game is? Mm -hmm. Was that shit necessary for him to say all that shit? I got it. I was unprofessional. You think I give a fuck about your podcast over these millions, nigga? Fuck your podcast and your weak ass team. Bitch niggas. I'm him, Chad. I'm him for real, bro. This isn't a gimmick. 
This isn't a game, nigga. This nigga G Money sees my life for real, for real. He in the hood with me, nigga. G Money, my nigga, talk to him, bro. It's for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> you seen some things. I have. You remember one time a nigga was cursing, talking crazy to me on the phone? And we pull up a, what okay. happened to that nigga on the block, bro? Uh, you definitely screamed at him a lot. I don't know. Did you don't remember when I had you pull over on remember. 127? I do. You don't remember? I was looking straight ahead. I oh, you plausible yeah. deniability. What <laughs> happened a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> nigga? That's what I was going to bring up. Is that yeah. What happened a couple of weeks ago, nigga, in the motherfucking chicken spot? A guy kept bumping into you, and then you fucking knocked him out in the chicken spot. Yo, Chad, don't play with me, bro. Niggas that don't listen to Jim, this would have helped my podcast. Man, listen, bro. We do this just to keep a frequency of realness out in the motherfucking airwaves, dog. Niggas fuck with us, they fuck with us. We got real ones that fuck with us, nigga. We got Ken. We got C Dumps. Henry. Danny. Danny just joined us a couple yeah, of weeks yes, ago. We got some nigga. We got motherfucking um my nigga Thurman Thomas. He be texting me and shit like that. <laughs> you know, fuck out of here, Chad Zumuck. This nigga did it. Yo, bro. I what I play my shit, nigga. I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't even know where that shit is. You know, you niggas know, bro. I be waiting for these kind of niggas to come up, bro. Chad, I'm not going to say nothing, nigga. You could play with it if you want to. Just like Justin Silverman was playing with me, bro, until he realized, like, yo, bro, I'm not playing. Yo, Chad, man. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing more. I wish your podcast the best success. I'm glad you guys are winning. I'm glad that you got all the listeners and they're listening to you and everything and all that shit. But this is all I'm going to tell you, Chad. When you fuck with me and you open up that can of piranhas, nigga, always know this. There is no going back because I'm always going to feel like this. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Fire in the hole. And that's all I'm going to say on that, my man. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, what's the name of his uh, podcast? Um... I think it's just the Chad Zumach show. Honestly, uh, to all my niggas that's listening and shit, go 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 support my my boy Chad Zumach's uh, <clears throat> uh, podcast. Go support my nigga uh, Kevin Brennan's MLC. You know, uh, you already know Legions of Skank uh, fifty one fifty uh, with my nigga Corey Holcomb, uh, my nigga Po Boy with my nigga Jody. You know what I mean, <laughs> Jody? Ah oh, man. This nigga, this nigga Chad took me all the way off my square <laughs> with that shit, nigga. But I'm t- <laughs> these bitch ass niggas is crazy, bro. <laughs> these niggas is crazy. <laughs> what they what they be thinking, man? White people really feel safe because this the police? <laughs> that that's they feel safe with that. Why you know white people bug me out, man? <laughs> Y'all don't know, nigga. There's some threshold steppers out here, dog. Ah, uh, poor Chad. <laughs> anyway, let's open up this show, man. I want I want to talk about you know. I just want to say, uh, speaking about the police, 
I know the police has got to feel really horrible when the community is just kind of rooting against them. <laughs> okay, and I'm just saying, not not in everyday life, but just in everyday life. They're yeah. just in little, 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 little areas of life, too. They're just rooting against them. Uh, this first video that we're going to get into is some, some criminal... <laughs> that happened to um, be in great spirits as he stole something. And um, he's supporting the people that supported him <laughs> as he's running by. And um, it just feels good to see the community get behind, behind people that's pushing forward their athletic abilities. <laughs> Go ahead and press play. Keep running, man. <laughs> Cops here. <laughs> He's got him. Keep going, man. You're good. <laughs> Keep going, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How awesome is that? How fucking awesome is that? Yo, you know what would have been really great if they had water people had waters, cups <laughs> of waters out. So <laughs> it's like a marathon. <laughs> That 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 criminal had a good pace. You did. Yeah. He had a good pace, bro. It was consistent. It was undisturbed, uninterrupted. It kept him. It kept the flow. The cops. They couldn't get a rhythm. It's all the equipment. The vest is shifting this way. The belt's going that way. It's just. It's so much going on, man. I don't. I don't know, but I I know that that took the wind out of them to hear the community rooting against them <laughs> as they're running by. I bet you, I bet you if they would have been like, come on, officer, you can get them. <laughs> that officer would have been like, da -da -da. you know what, I can. You know, we would have put in that, that extra effort, you know what I mean? But and, and look, these things just kind of gave up. Yeah, they they're, they're like, you know what, you got to pace. So do we. We got a pace. <laughs> hey, we're not going no faster. <laughs> Might get a little slower, but we've got a pace. You know what I mean? They're waiting for him to trip <laughs> or for him to get hit by a car or something. Just <laughs> they just got <laughs> enough pace and distance just in case of an arrow. I gotcha. <laughs> Where, where's he going to go? He's not going to go anywhere. Just follow him. <laughs> That's hilarious, nigga. That's hilarious. We just go keep the paste of error. <laughs> just in case he make a mistake, we can get him. a trip, a stumble, a stumble. You know what? Uh, oh, that's uh, our consistent pace. Well, that would get nigga. Let me tell you something about about motherfucking running. You ever try to run and 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 you be laughing? hard at the same time <laughs> it's impossible nigga you're gonna trip <laughs> and there's nothing in your way <laughs> it's nothing you're running and laughing you try to run and you're fucking hysterically laughing so you're not gonna make it you're not gonna make it you're gonna fall you're gonna fucking fall man oh my <laughs> god well, way to go to those guys supporting the community in any way that they can. Not saying that was the best part of the community that they were supporting, <laughs> but way to let them know that, you know, they're out there. <laughs> this guy might be getting ready for the marathon this year. <laughs> I hope they didn't catch him. I'll see, you know, let's see. Uh, no, nah, that's a year. That's He's going to have to sit for a year. He'll miss the marathon this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, maybe this is his training, going to stores and stealing and waiting for the cops so that they can chase him <laughs> so he can get his pace. Something to think about. It's to think about. Good training tack. What else we got, man? What else is out here, man? Uh, what's this one? Which one is a, uh, a, a crackhead making his uh, his rounds through the community, I guess. I'm not really sure what's. Oh, nah. You know what this one is? What is it? This 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 is when you know your work is block work. When you got that block work and you know your shit this when you know your drugs is fire, nigga. When you sell to your custody and that nigga come back to murder the whole crew <laughs> with an imaginary gun and bullets. This is when you know you got that block work, nigga. Press play. You ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. You ain't lied. Boom, boom. You ain't never lied. You 
yo, hey, yo, why the nigga in the black nigga? He he felt that imagine that. that nigga, oh, he got me. The nigga with the black shirt. Hey, yo, what, yo? Hold on, nigga. What I just, if I'm not mistaken, I think I just got put onto a new red flag <laughs> where a nigga with a gun that's pulling up. I think the nigga said, you ain't never lie. <laughs> be on alert when a nigga come out with that and a group full of people. You ain't never lie. You ain't, oh, that nigga got it. Let me make sure that's what he's saying, though. Press play. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. Boom, boom. You ain't never last. Yo, yo, the nigga with the black shirt and the gray sweat. Yo, why the nigga <laughs> running like he really did it? Where did he go? That nigga. Yo, fam. Whatever they pump it, nigga. Or the nigga. Yo. Those are drugs. Those are drug drugs, my nigga. <laughs> Come on with the gunplay. You ain't never lie. You ain't never lie, nigga. You ain't never lie. Yo, bro. Oh, man. New York has been crazy the last couple of motherfucking weeks, month and a half. Niggas is out here on that dumb shit again, pushing niggas. In the motherfucking uh, train tracks, mm. you know what I mean, um, and and you know they want to put more police presence and 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 all of this whole shit. You know, only thing police presence is is more harassment for black people. Okay. You niggas is over here trying to fix that problem. They ain't got nothing to do with police, nigga. You niggas going to have to invest into a mental health play for these niggas. These are mental health issues. Ain't no regular nigga waking up talking about, I'm going to push somebody the fuck off the ledge of the... Nah. Nah. This is mental health shit. That nigga just think he pushing the door open or something like that. Poof, I'm here. Nah, nigga. Come on with the bullshit. But my man, in this video, I think he's got the game beat. This nigga is not going to get pushed off the leg. He going to wait to see <laughs> if the train is coming. And when the train comes, he going to get up out the track. And get ready to get on the train. And while he's doing that, he going to have everybody on a platform of confusion wondering where the smell of weed is coming from. <laughs> I know that sounds disturbing and weird to you guys, but watch this. Press play. That might be the Bronx. What street does that say? Can we zoom in on that? No? Oh, that's Times Square? Mm, mm, mm. 42nd Street. Yeah, niggas be looking for the dumb shit, man. I'm, I'm, I, you, the rat in the beginning was like, yo, you sparking up? Go back. <laughs> Go back all the way to the beginning when the niggas start sparking. Yeah, watch this. This motherfucker right here, Doc. Look at the rat. The rat light. Right here. Yo, 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 yo. You should be sparking up. Yo. Oh, man. Those niggas is from the Bronx. I could tell by the shiny, puffy coat. <laughs> Oh my god, man. (laughs) 
Oh, man. All right, G-Money. Oh, that fucking Chad. He's still on my spirit a little bit. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get over him, you know? But it's bothersome that he can't. He really thought that I blew him off. But, you know, who gives a fuck? At this point, hey, guys, you niggas know what time it is. It's time for that G-Money Talk! I'm spitting 16 mini lines from a 603. G Money, what you got for me? Come on, come on. G Money, what you got for me? We got Jimmy over there in the Buffalo plaid. And in the Buffalo stance. Come on, G Money, what you got for me? It's the 30 minute mark. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. All right. Shout out to Josh as always for that little intro. And uh, thank you guys for coming back for another week. Let's, uh, Jim, we'll get, we'll get chat off your mind with a little bit of pandemonium. We'll start off G Money Talk like that. I love pandemonium, man. And uh, the guy in this video who is uh, the victim of pandemonium, he's trying to, he's defending himself, but in for the wrong thing. He's defending the wrong thing in this video. Mm-hmm. He should be more worried about his safety. Uh. Get out of my face, nigga. Oh, I'm not a nigga. Shut up. I'm not a nigga. Okay? What? I'm not a nigga. What? Bail me again. Bail me again, nigga. Oh, I'm, I'm not, not a nigga. I'm not a nigga. I'm not a nigga. Oh, shit. Hey, yo. Pre- hey, can we just take that? There's uh, it's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on. Take it from the top? Yes. Hey, get out of my face, nigga. Oh, I'm not a nigga. Shut up. I'm not a nigga, okay? What? I'm not a nigga. Bail me again. Bail this me again, nigga, nigga. smacked Danny DeVito as the penguin. Okay? And this nigga look like one of those mumble rappers. <laughs> yeah, he does. Look like Sway Lee a little bit. Uh, oh, was... oh, no, not my, not, <laughs> not, not, not my little buddy. I like Sway Lee. <laughs> I like Sway Lee. That's my little buddy right there. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh, man. That nigga hit him with the slap of thunder. <laughs> that shit came from the heavens. Press. <laughs> he slapped down at yeah, him. Yeah, that <laughs> shit came from the heavens. I'm going to watch Braveheart tonight. <laughs> I'm not a nigga. What? I'm not a nigga. Bail me again. Bail me again. Yo, that stance, that wide stance. See, who fights like that? I would have, I would have tackled him. I would have, ah, it was just tackled. Fucking stance. Who are you getting wide on? This nigga got wide, like he's backing off a bear. You know, they said when you want to back a bear off, get wide. (laughs) I wish I would. A fucking bear. I'm gonna try to be bigger than. I, that's gotta be. That's gotta be some white people shit, bro. I, I was about to say. I thought that that's always seemed like a pretty good idea. That always seemed, you know, you gotta <laughs> some white people shit. I'm not chancing me trying to be bigger than the bear than him being hungrier than me being bigger. Okay, <laughs> nah, fuck that. You don't let there be no cubs around, nigga. It's over. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> this poor guy. Did you see him lose his balance a little bit when he gets slapped? No, I think, I, the... I, hold on. Let me get that. Well, he got the thunder, or sl- the slap of thunder. <laughs> That's my favorite part is his little trying to catch his balance. Hey, okay, get out of my face, nigga. Oh, I'm not a nigga. Shut up. I'm not a nigga. Okay? What? I'm not a nigga. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> It's a good thing that Rel was there. Yeah, that was. nigga was caught that <laughs> shit in slow motion. He caught that Rel in slow motion. That shocking smack had him allowed to focus only on one thing that was tangible in life. <laughs> and if he would have focused on anything else, he would have fell. But the the things in his membranes locked in on Rail. <laughs> watch. Watch. Membrane. Watch the membrane. membrane. What? I'm not a nigga. Membrane. <laughs> That's all membrane. That slap activated membrane tunnel that locked in. Yeah, that was all membrane, bro. Yeah. <laughs> membrane, bro. 
Straight up. Straight up. Oh, shit. Next, uh, <laughs> the next video we have is uh, from Virginia. And this is a, a good thing. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, town hall meetings. Have you ever seen any of those of, like, people going in and complaining? I used to have to film them in high school. And people would go and complain about the most fucking ridiculous shit. Well, I like remember this- one time they had a town meeting for a Chappelle um, about um, his uh, comedy uh, camp that he was having during uh, the pandemic. Uh-huh. And uh, they tried to shut it down. And they had all these town hall meetings on a Zoom or some shit like yeah. that. And my buddy Marshall Brandon got to speak up for Chappelle. Oh, that's and, cool. And um, said some really dope shit. Yeah, Marshall Brandon's funny. He's a thinker, and he's got that really long, like, like American Dad alien head, like, <laughs> you know. But that nigga, bro, his comedy is so fucking smooth. Oh, that nigga milk, and that's my brother, shake and bake, nigga. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He 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 was in a uh, a, 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 a Zoom town hall meeting. Mm-hmm. So what did they complain about? Well, there's, I remember one guy in town, I forget what they called him, but he would go and complain about the deer all the time and that, like, the siding on his house, like, was getting stolen and, like, random shit. But this woman in Virginia came and uh, was complaining about the mask mandates in school. And um, it's a good thing they had this because it helps flesh out some people who are pretty, uh, pretty mentally ill. So here we go. My children will not come to school on Monday with a mask on. All right. That's not happening. And I will bring every single gun loaded and ready to I I will call every. That's three minutes. You've you've gone past your time. It's a policy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you all on Monday. Are are they comfortable with this? She's been arrested. Since then, I would hope so. <laughs> I would hope so. I mean, would the niggas feel comfortable? I would. Uh, you know what? You, normally, it's a three-minute policy, but take as long as you, <laughs> you take your time. We're here. We want to listen. <laughs> the fuck? How do you rush that? This is how fucking school shootings happen. <laughs> they might have just been tuning her out and not even heard that, and then it just got the three. It's like, okay, three minutes is up. All right. <laughs> I'm glad the authorities reacted and, and acted on that because, nah, nigga. Nah. And the uh, last video I have for this week is uh, it's gonna be our hero for the week. And this is a, uh, a news anchor who did her job under any circumstances. And uh, shout out to her for it. On the freeze, Tori Yorkie joins us now live in Dunbar. And Tori, they're not seeing any flakes but wet roads. And now we're starting to experience, unfortunately, in freeze thaw, we see this water main breaks. Okay, I just got hit by a car, but I'm well, okay, Tim. That's the first um, morning I'm on okay. TV, Jory. Woo! We're all good. To anchor, I'm don't okay. give yeah, no you know, fucks. That's live TV for you. It's all good. I actually got hit by a car in college, too, just like that. Wow. I am so <laughs> oh, You're okay. You're and Vince okay. just told them I was drunk in college and I was fucking. <laughs> she just told the whole story with that getting hit by a car just like this. Oh, my God, my nigga. There's so much in this video. The anchor. <laughs> the anchor. Normally, you know, if this is a a person of his, that that gave a fuck. Oh my god, hey, Cindy, are you all right? What's going on? <laughs> all right, can anyone just tell us what's going on? Is, is it Cindy all right? Is it uh, Nah, this nigga. <laughs> oh wow, look at. Oh, oh she got your scuba diving gear. I, I do know that, uh, man. This is definitely um. Hey. Oh, all right, all right, he's just fine. So <laughs> <laughs> you gave no fucks about her. Let's play. Watch how this bitch gets hit. Cameraman didn't give a fuck either. Oh, 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 my God. oh my God. I just got hit by a car, but I'm okay. I just got hit by a car, but I'm well, okay, Tim. That's the first um, morning I'm on okay. TV, Jory. Woo! We're all good. <laughs> Are you all 
I'm okay. Yeah, you know, that's live TV for you. It's all good. I actually got hit by a car in college, too, just like that. Wow. <laughs> that so college like, oh, story. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. That college girl. story is fire, bro. <laughs> that, that. My nigga. <laughs> Let me tell you what that car did to her membrane. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing. <laughs> That bitch was in shock and panic, and the membranes can only go back and focus on what had happened to her. <laughs> it's okay. We're all right. This happened before, guys. Remember college? And that's why. That's what came out of her head. <laughs> hey, yo, my nigga, stop. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> Right, man. Right, wait, 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 look. Rain, sleet, or snow. That bitch got our car hitting. <laughs> that bitch got the job done. Fire. Fire. Oh, shit. That, that's all I got for G Money Talk this week. All right, man. I wonder what Chad Zumak has got. <laughs> hey, what other videos we got out here, bro? I don't G Money Talk. Yeah, I want to introduce this new segment to the show. It's called We Need White People. Without white people, man, I really believe that the earth would be boring. <laughs> you niggas do the funnest, dumbest shit ever. And I just like to see the end result of the <laughs> shit that you motherfuckers do. Like, for instance, my man right here, dog, this nigga running. I'm like, at first when I saw this video, I'm like, all right, he's about to save the day. This is the, <laughs> I'm about to save the day run. And then when it ended, I was like, oh. White people shit. <laughs> and this is what made me come up with this segment. We need white people. All right, man. Press play. Nigga, <laughs> dog. You know, like, the water was going to be there? Nah, <laughs> nigga. Nah, nigga. <laughs> Where's my other man? Nah, bring my nigga back. I'm doubling up on this segment today. <laughs> this shit right here, this shit is epic right here, man. When I say we need white people, you niggas better get on the Patreon and see these fucking videos, man. We be picking out some really dope shit. This white boy right here, <laughs> he, I think he's got a Burger King. Yeah, he does. He's got a Burger King crown on Hey, yo, fam. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> when your legs don't work like they used to Hey, yo, fam. That trying to run for the bullet. Explain what, what happened to this. What, why do white people do? What happened to this white people event here, G, buddy? Please. In this me. video, this guy is uh, running from the police while drinking a beer. <laughs> Um, presumably trying to get every last bit of beer before, you know, he pres eventually goes to jail. You know, he, he knows that's coming. And then <laughs> a couple steps. Did he get out of a car or was he just coming from the street? Oh, he no, he got out of a car. Okay, he got pulled over. Yo, drink is done. Drink. He was done. So he booked it, <laughs> getting every last sip he could, and then got tased. Press play. Press play. This nigga got out the car and made a run for it while drinking a <laughs> Budweiser. <laughs> the way the body stiffens up when those motherfucking cords from the motherfucking stun gun hit you. Yo, this shit. <laughs> Yo, bro. The stun gun locks. The stun gun locks your whole shit up. <laughs> Oh, shit, man. This, 
It's, oh, this video right here. The reason why I pulled this video up is the the um we need white people segment is over. This is totally separate from that. Uh, it's more white people shit, but not <laughs> <laughs> oh why we God. need them per se. You know, uh, <laughs> but what inspired me to really get involved with this video was the girl's name. Oh, <laughs> Jessica. And Cadet Jill has a song called Jessica. Yes, he does. <laughs> and I listened to that song. Jessica, you know, and I understand that Jessica's a bitch. I I never really in the white community, Jessica's a problem, bro. Yeah, yeah. There are that many cool Jessicas. <laughs> Every time you hear some shit about a Jessica, this bitch is doing some shit. Fucking a nigga. Uh, 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 her girlfriend, nigga, sucking her girlfriend's uh, boyfriend, dick, uh, all kind of shit. You know, Jessica's is just wild. Um, but this Jessica, she infuriated <laughs> a motherfucking Billy. <laughs> and Billy, man, let me tell you something. Don't get the camera in white people's face. So what happened when they did this shit to motherfucking Toby Maguire? <laughs> <laughs> and somebody was agreeing with him. Get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> there are other cards out here. Oh my god! I love when white people get hot, bro. Ah, this nigga love that, bro. <laughs> Does it remind me of the time when you got upset when we was driving back from the hotel? And you was headed to work, but you had to drop me off. <laughs> and the traffic turned from blue to red. <laughs> Woo, nigga. Get the fuck out of the way. There's the cars. <laughs> so this Jessica instead right here is something else right here, man. Jessica, get your shit together. Press play. What the hell's wrong with you? I love you, Jessica. Yeah. Mm. Jessica, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? Don't fucking touch me. Russell, I love you. Stop, stop. Did you guys just see the random white nigga with the rock horns? Double rock horns? Yo, why? Why the fuck? Oh, my God. This video is now a part of why we need white people again. It's now, it's still continuing. We okay. We didn't know. <laughs> Say no more. And just so, show before we go back into this, when I'm realizing this, Jessica also got that wop. She's got that <laughs> wet ass pussy, nigga. Yeah, Jessica got that bomb ass pussy. She got that Becky. That Becky with the long hair. She got that throat. Yeah, she got that balloon knot. Village, yes. This nigga, nah, nah. He, he told, he told that one. He's like, dude, don't touch me. <laughs> I'm in love with Jessica. Press play. It's oh, random, nigga. Wrong with you? I love you, Jessica. Oh, yeah. Jessica, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> I love you. Dude. What the fuck? <laughs> that nigga attacked the cameraman. I seen Venom. That nigga turned into a. You ever see Lord of the Rings? When Bilbo Bobbins turned into <laughs> a fucking goblin real quick when he saw the ring on fo fo uh, photo um on photo's neck. Oh, my old ring. Oh, if I could just just one more. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. That nigga turned. Into <laughs> Listen, man, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the crazy shit is? He's been on that nigga's radar since the beginning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was built up anger. <laughs> That was built up tension, nigga. Take it from the top. Watch. He's. What the 
hell's wrong with you? I love you, look, Jessica. Look, he's, he's, on the, he's on the radar. The nigga with the Jessica, camera. what the hell is wrong with you, dude? Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> I love you, dude. What the fuck? What do white people know about world stuff? <laughs> I know. Ah, like, it was never about Jessica. <laughs> it was just getting close enough to attack the camera. <laughs> it had reason to. Oh, he's in the way with Jessica. <laughs> Jessica! <laughs> we gotta get Cadet Joe and the guys to come on here and perform the yes, acoustic, acoustic <laughs> version of <laughs> Jessica! <laughs> I heard Cadet Joe. Got his hair so long, he's disgraced his family. <laughs> he's like, he's like Joaquin Phoenix, and we own the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my niggas, man. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, man. Let's get another video in here, man. Oh, yes. So, I y'all niggas know how we feel about WWF of uh, dance hall music up here. Uh, the World Wrestling Federation of <laughs> Dance Hall Music up here. And we try to warn you guys how dangerous it can be. But obviously, uh, we need a louder microphone because Quavo missed the SOS or the memo. So we've got actual footage of Quavo in danger <laughs> or better yet in a, a WWF dance hall match <laughs> at some club. Oh, my God. Poor Quavo, man. With the little eight-year-old eyebrows. <laughs> I like, I like this guy, though. I like this kid. I really do, man. Um, go ahead. Press play. He, he caught him. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, bro. First of all, bitch, you got on this, all, you got on this green... This Joker wig. <laughs> Gotta go home to my bitch tonight, nigga. Bitch gonna be like, where you get this green shit from? I gotta come up with a lie. Yeah, we was over at Jake's doing arts and crafts tonight. <laughs> uh, you know, we got damn Jamaicans, man. That's all you gotta do. You got a Jamaican bitch, nigga, and you know, you know what this bitch wear to decor herself. And you ever want to have a reason to get out of some shit with your bitch? After coming to see, from seeing this Jamaican motherfucking dangerous fucking <laughs> ornament wearer? Bro, just tell your shorty, y'all was at an arts and craft event. <laughs> yeah, these niggas had glitter, they had yawn, all kind of shit. <laughs> oh my God, what? I gotta get you in one of these clubs, man. Let's see what you could do. <laughs> see, what, see what can happen with you, man. Quavo realized he was in danger too. I don't. I, I think he thought they were gonna take it easy on him. He nah. was just there for show. Nah. He was getting the full experience. <laughs> and he kept his arm up <laughs> just in case he drowned. I'm over <laughs> here. This is where I'm located, at, guys. <laughs> he tried to be so cool. You got to look at the other bitches with the colorful hairs on the side. The other little oh, Teletubbies. Yeah. They're so proud of their leader. They're so proud. Look, look you see them on the side? Go back, go back. This bitch is jumping. You know what he did? You know he used to do that? Ke Kevin Garnett used to do that move. When he would start shit in the NBA, he would, like, fucking, like, elbow someone, and then they'd get in his face, and they just put his arms up like this. Like, I didn't do... I didn't fucking do it. If fucking, he's showing... I think he's doing the anti-Me Too... Uh, That's equivalent to the cops fucking you up, talking about stop resisting. <laughs> Nigga, if I don't resist... <laughs> 
How am I going to be able to block my face from you punching it, nigga? I have to. <laughs> Crazy this, man. All right, man. Chad Zumak. I've been trying to shake you all episode, nigga. <laughs> I'm bothered. You know how to reach out to me, my nigga. Please don't let me bump into you. Um, let's talk. Let's be grown ups. Because it ain't gonna be not nice if, if we we see each other. I didn't like that last message. Like, nah, nigga, you throwing darts at the wrong one. So you know, you listen to the show. You know my number, nigga. Nine one seven seven nine two one five nine three. All right, Chad. You can give it to your team too. They can call me too. Um. This is for all the fam that listen. Yeah, you niggas know what it is. 917-792-1593. That's my number. Uh, G-Money, if they wanted to get at the show and they wanted to fuck with us on another level, how could they do that? How can they interact? They can follow the show on Twitter and Instagram, at Fire on the Hole and Why. Uh, they could uh, follow, subscribe to us on YouTube, so get clips of the show, but you can only get the full video version of the show at patreon.com slash Fire on the Hole. Uh, you can send us an email, fire on the whole NY at gmail.com. If you have some questions for Jimmy, something you want to see on the show, something you want to send us. Uh, if you want to send us some artwork, a letter, something like that, you can do that at P.O. Box 3553, New York, New York, 10027. P.O. Box 3553, New York, New York, 10027. All right, man. Um. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <sighs> we, I mean, I... It's too early in the year to be going to war with some <laughs> bitch ass niggas, yo. Over some whole shit. Like, this is whole nigga behavior. But, if you want it, I got it. Come on. Yeah, chat. <laughs> if this is what you want, chat. I'm going to love you like you've never been loved before. Fire in the hole!